Heidi ho neighbors, a few quick announcements for you. First of which is to let you know that this Wednesday, the 10th, is beer and theology. It's happening at 7 p.m. You can find the Zoom link on our website on that day. Click it, don't get a ticket. I can't think of anything else that rhymes with that. Just show up, it'll be cool. Uh, also to remind you that on the second Sunday of this month, we are doing our second Sunday Zoom service. We had our first first Sunday Zoom service this last week. And so this will be the second Sunday Zoom service. That's redundant! Make sure you show up, click the link via Zoom, and we can all hang out and see each other for a little bit. Not if I see you first. Uh, send it on over right now to Christine to let us know what's happening with the kids. And then also over to Nate and Christy to let us know what is happening with middle school. Hey everyone. I am obviously not in Portland. I'm coming at you from the beaches of Puerto Rico, which I'm soon leaving. So that's why I thought I'd record this last announcement from here because I will be traveling this Sunday, which means we have a very, very special guest who will be doing our kids' community online service for this Sunday. So if you'd like to see a very familiar face to the kids all love, please join us on Sunday. Same link that you normally click. It'll be ready for you. Please make sure your kids have a separate device if they would like to tune in at the same time as you're doing our live service. Look forward to seeing you all virtually again for our next second Sunday or first Sunday Zoom when I am back. Bye. Hi there. Uh, this week for middle school second Sunday Zoom, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to play a game called Box of Lies based on the Jimmy Fallon game. Nate's going to go ahead and explain how it works. Yeah, so what we need you guys to do this week is find or make a uh, kind of wild and wacky object because on Sunday we're going to go around and you will have the chance to either describe your object or pretend to describe an object that is not your object. So I might say, okay, my object is a small figurine of a bear wearing a bow tie going for a walk through the woods with a walking stick. And the group has to decide whether that is the item I have or if I'm lying about the item I have. And then we reveal that I do have a bear going for a walk through the woods in a bow tie. Or I would reveal that I have something else, like a set of Russian nesting dolls painted like the Mercury 7 astronauts. And so um, we're going to have a lot of fun playing this game. If you guys can bring a few different objects, then we can do a few rounds and uh, take up a little bit more time. Uh, but we're looking forward to playing with you guys. It'll be a really fun weekend. Yep. Take care. Bye. Okay. The last Sunday of this month is our empty service like it always is. Same as it ever was. But this month, we are partnering with our friends over at the Backpack Lunch Program. Uh, you're probably familiar with them. We've partnered with them a ton. And so what they do is uh, they make sure that kids have some food to eat. During the school year, usually, uh, there's a lot of families that don't have as much to eat over the weekends. And so the Backpack Lunch Program would send them home with food to make sure that their little tummies are full over the weekends. But, and during COVID, kids are hurting all the time. And so this organization really makes sure that they have some food and know that they are thought of and not forgotten. And uh, so all that to say, you can go to our website to find the list of information of things that we would like you to please buy, bring and bag. Um, and then we can get that stuff sent home to these kids so they have something good to eat. And then lastly, want to remind you that you can give at all the normal spots on our website here, 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 and even over there. And you can participate that way with what we're doing at the Oregon community. Okay, much love, everybody. Hope you've been having a wonderful, fantastic, great week. And we will see you shortly.